Hello everybody, I'm Raven Karasu, and this is actually not part of any of my other playlists. Um, I wanted to try and do something. I figured this would motivate me a little more. Um, so, so yesterday I had planned to do some work on Raven Reed, Dr. Gates, and try and record some more chapters and edit some more chapters to put up. But uh, I actually was unable to do any writing, any recording, any editing, or anything of any nature yesterday. Um, I ended up in the ER again. Um, nobody was really sure what was wrong with me. I thought at first it was, uh, I thought at first it was just kind of a, a buildup. Uh, but then later on in the morning, I thought it was a uh, kidney stone. Uh, I've actually gotten quite a few kidney stones on my right side this year, and over the past few years, I've had quite a few. So I say like maybe three or four since 2011, I guess. Um, so yeah, they suck, by the way. So I thought I possibly had my first kidney stone on my left side, uh, but I couldn't tell because I was getting these weird sensations on both the front and the back. So, went to the ER, and they weren't sure what it was. They weren't sure if I had a kidney stone or not. They assumed that I had already passed it if I did, but it sure as hell didn't feel like it. Um, it wasn't until much later in the evening that everything seemed to go smoother. The other option was being, of course, a, an issue with my colon. So, I bought a bunch of stuff uh, yesterday. Um, and probably best I do it now. I wouldn't say this is a New Year's resolution, as I was kind of told to do it last month, and I didn't. Um, so I finished uh, I finished up uh, a case of, of soda. Uh, there's only like one left in there, so I took it out and put it in. And I decided to do uh, water this time. But the problem is, is that I have trouble uh, keeping water in my system. And the more water I drink, the more dehydrated I feel because it just goes through. It doesn't replace anything for me. So uh, the nurse did tell me I could have these little uh, little powders. Uh, currently, I am on the dragon fruit. It's a sugar-free, low-calorie energy powder, dragon fruit flavored, and I'm actually really enjoying that. So definitely might stay stay with that. The only problem is I still I still can't eat certain things without needing a soda. Uh, I, I'm overall okay, but uh, things like, uh, I just had chicken tenders for dinner, um, and I just couldn't do the, I just couldn't do the water. Uh, I tried it, and it just wasn't working. It tasted funny, and I wasn't feeling good with it. So I went and uh, I did have a soda this evening. This is my first soda today. Uh, it's uh, 9.07 p.m., and yeah, I am on my very first soda, and probably will be my last one of the day, because I do happen to enjoy the, the water for just drinking. Um, so, yeah, I was kind of thinking uh, of doing a small video series of just uh, checking my progress, um, not only for um, feeling better, but... You know, I've been trying to lose weight, and uh, I have a lot of, uh, had a lot of high marks on uh, the last blood test I took. So, overall, my health is not that great. Um, sorry about the glare of my glasses. Um, so, yeah, uh, so I thought I would try and kind of follow my progress through a vlog of some sort, uh, and you don't have to follow this if you don't want to, you know, if, if you're interested in, you know, how I'm gonna, how I'm doing, that's fine, but it's just something I wanted to do to kind of share the progress I'm, I'm making, or not making, with uh, friends and family, kind of see how I'm doing. So, um, as of today, uh, my diet consisted of a, uh, a thing of, a thing this tall of cantaloupe. And I had a, one of these Tasty Cake Crimpets, a package of that. Just one. Just had one. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I finished up a bottle of the water with the mix in it. 
and I just mixed this one, but it wasn't going very well with the chicken I was, I was eating. So I do, I do have a soda with me. This is my first one of the day. Uh, cherry vanilla, Pepsi, I like that. I mostly, uh, I mostly drink uh, Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper. Um, I have been drinking a lot of Sprite, actually. Uh, yesterday when I got out of the ER, I was still so dehydrated, despite like drinking like eight cups of water. Uh, I was still really dehydrated, my mouth was still dry. Uh, I think the medicine that I take in general, that I take every day, uh, since it's been increased in dosage, I do have a dry mouth more often. And I'm trying to figure out if I can live with that because the medicines that I've been taking every day do work for the most part. And I'm wondering if that side effect is worth it. For the most part, if I have the right types of liquids, it's not so bad. Uh, water doesn't work very good. Um, so, uh, I do think I'm doing better with the flavored water. Um, it feels like I'm getting a little more into it. You know, I think there's like other things in there, like vitamins or something. But, um, but yeah, the, I decided to try and do that. I do drink a lot of the uh, Tropicana orange juice. Uh, I did get some farmland brand peach mango juice. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, that. That tasted, I mean, it tasted fine, just wasn't quite hitting the spot for me. Uh, we did pick up some Gatorade, and even though I, I can live on the orange juice most of the time, I was actually told to basically stick with the water for a while. But I can have the other stuff in small doses, which is why I was like, they're like, you can have like one soda a day. So I'm like, okay, well, I'd save it for, you know, like that. Uh, so right now, the pounds are at 280. Um, it actually, I actually did go down. It was, I think it was like uh, 283 when I was uh, weighed last. That was last month, I think. That was in October. So I did lose a little weight. Um, taking my regular medicines that I take every day for uh, anxiety and depression. And I have another medicine that I take for when I get really tense. Um, I have a headache right now, so I, I also took uh, some, what is this, aspirin. This, I think it's like uh, acetaminophen. Took a couple of those. Um, yesterday I discovered the BC or goodies powder and oh God, that was like, the worst pixie stick ever. <laughs> um, but I do have other medicines for other things. Like I said, I had the, I had the, the pain medicine that I got. It's over the counter. I got some milk and magnesia just in case. I did forget the nausea medicine, but it doesn't seem I'm going to need that. So, yeah, it just seems like I'm getting more and more medicines I have to take. But, um, but it might work out. Um, so... I think I want to see if I can actually lose the weight. I'm not very active, and it's actually really hard to be active. Um, so I'm going to try to have the better diet to see if I can lose a little first and see if I feel a little better when I'm a little lighter. Um, I do I do move around a little. Like, you know, I, we have stairs all over the place, so I have to go up the stairs to go to the bathroom. I have to go downstairs to go into the kitchen. I'm in the middle floor. We have three floors. Um, so, th so there is that. and um, So I'm hoping that will give me some exercise. And of course, you know, we, we do the, uh, the cat litter we take out and the, the uh, other trash we take out. So there, there's that too. So I, I do have opportunities where I move. So it's not like I sit in this bed all the time. Um, and yeah, we're sitting, we're sitting in my bed. It's a little messy in here, <laughs> uh, and it's actually mostly messy because uh, I did I did a lot of uh, Christmas shopping, uh, so I have like bags of Christmas stuff, wrapping paper, bows, 
Uh, I have uh, cases of CDs for, for later. I have stuff that I got in the mail. Uh, so, yeah, it's starting to become Christmas season in here, and it's just making a big old mess. Uh, so, yeah, in other news, uh, I have not recorded anything. I'm going to try and record stuff a little later. Uh, my throat's feeling a lot better. Um, I was actually kind of worried that I was going to get sick because I woke up this morning with a scratchy throat. The pain was pretty much gone in my side. My headache had subdued a little bit. It came back a little later. Uh, but my throat was really dry and scratchy, and I was actually scared I was going to get sick. But it ends up, thankfully, that it was just because uh, when I'm on a lot of medicines, I tend to sleep pretty hard. So, And when I sleep really hard, I snore. Um, apparently, I have all these different types of snores, but apparently I was snoring through my mouth this time, so that would make sense, so thank goodness. Um, I've been, like I said, I've been drinking the, the water and stuff, and it's, it feels a little better, feels a little better. So, right now I'm feeling okay. Uh, in fact, right now the headache's gone, so that's good, I feel really, really good right now. Um, would like to get some work done tonight. Uh, haven't had a lot to eat today, and I've actually been really in the mood for the cantaloupe, so I've actually been eating a lot of fruit since yesterday. Uh, I, was, I, I actually thought that this month was going to be like a corned beef month because I was like, oh my god, I really want some corned beef. And all I wanted was corned beef. And now it's like, all I want is cantaloupe. So I still have like, uh, I had the, the big uh, containers. Then I bought even bigger containers. Then I actually bought like four just whole cantaloupes. <laughs> I spent way, way too much money on cantaloupe. But it was all I wanted. I just wanted cantaloupe. It tasted good. It was juicy. So I was getting... I was getting liquid and vitamins, and I was still filling my stomach, so it was actually really good. Um, I tend, tend to not eat very healthy, so it was, it was actually really nice. And I was probably, probably eating too much fruit at this point, and I really don't care. Um, I'd, rather, I'd rather have a little bit more fruit in my diet since I don't normally do. Uh, the fruits tend to be the last thing we ever buy when we go shopping because we don't have... We have a lot of other things we get, and the... Produce is tends to be the last thing we get, but after we get the produce, we tend to forget the fruit. So we tend to get the vegetables and stuff, but not the fruit. So, uh, but yeah, it uh, seems to be cantaloupe season, so uh, definitely enjoying that. Uh, I've had people suggest apples, and I'm just not in an apple mood. And not that I don't like apples, but just, you know, I don't feel in an apple mood. And if I'm going to eat fruit, I need to be in the mood for it because it does go bad. Uh, so cantaloupe seems to work. I, I actually... Every time I get a little bit hungry or anything like that, uh, I just I just want to eat the cantaloupe. I actually bought I actually bought the chicken that I ate for dinner today yesterday, and it ended up not being what I actually ate for dinner. I ended up eating two big containers of cantaloupe because I just wanted cantaloupe. Um, so yeah, so I ate like half the chicken today. It was like the I don't know how many chicken tenders were in there. I ate like four or five chicken tenders with some uh, some of the honey mustard. Not the best diet food, but like I said, it's the only thing I actually ate today besides the cantaloupe and one little package of cake. Uh, so I, I actually feel pretty good today. Um, so that's good. I'm a little sore in the back still from whatever the hell I had yesterday, whether it be a, excuse me, whether it be a backup or kidney stone. Either way, I'm feeling a little better. I probably should be taking the milk and magnesia more often, but I'm kind of waiting to see how I fare with that. Uh, everything else seems to be okay. So hopefully, yeah, so I lost a little bit of weight, so now it's uh, now it's 280 now. Uh, it, that's still really high. Um, I carry it well, though. Everyone says I carry it well. I don't look like I weigh as much as I do. Um, I actually feel, <laughs> we actually went to Walmart today and uh, to pick up, a couple things. We, we, we had to pick up some calcium, um, we had to pick up a prescription, and some cheese. Um, and we got the cheese because we had all that lunch meat and, you know, we need the cheese for the lunch meat. Which I've not been eating a lot of. Uh, and it's sad because it's really, really good. Uh, so yeah, we went, we went to Walmart today and I was saying how I feel smaller. Uh, yesterday I felt really, really distended in my stomach. I felt 
really, really heavy. I actually, I actually felt like I, I weighed as much as I weigh. But today, I, I didn't feel that way. I actually felt lighter. Uh, my, my stomach feels like it's been in more. It's not as distended anymore. Um, and overall, I'm not, I wasn't feeling sick. So that, that's good. Uh, normally, I tend to feel a little sick. Um, I couldn't stand up very, very, very long today. Um, I actually had to, I had to take the cart with me. We weren't get, hardly getting anything. We didn't even need a cart, but I just needed the cart to lean on. So, so there was still that. But like I said, I felt I felt better, and that's kind of a good thing. And I'm hoping that eating the smaller meals and drinking more of the water, or you know, juice basically, it's juice. Once you put the mix in, it's juice. Uh, I'm going to try that. Um, the sodas are actually going to be hard for me to to get because now I, I filled their space with water. So I will be putting in maybe a couple Cokes in or Pepsis in every day to eat with whatever I eat for dinner. And that'll be like my one soda a day. Um, I, I've actually tried to, to just quit drinking soda entirely, but nah, it doesn't work. doesn't work. Eventually, I just I just need one, um, and if I if I if I quit entirely, then eventually I'll want one and drink a whole damn case. So I figure with at least the one, I still get to have the soda. I'm I am very heavily addicted to the soda, so I can still have the one, and that'll make me feel better. It'll keep the withdrawals and craziness from happening. Um, I still got the juice, and I think uh, even though I got all these different flavors, I got uh, I got strawberry, uh, fruit punch, uh, more fruit punch. Uh, I got one of these these crush ones. Uh, not entirely sure how I'm gonna feel about that, considering uh, I don't know how soda flavors are gonna gonna match with uh, no bubbles and just water. So. But yeah, the dragon fruit is actually my favorite, so I was expecting to basically just drink the fruit punch, but I think, I think I'm definitely going to stick with the dragon fruit more often than not. Uh, it just has a really, really good flavor, and I started a bottle yesterday, and it still was cold. Um, of course, then again, it's getting cold out, and I leave a window open. So, to keep, keep cool, because I overheat a lot. But uh, yeah, it stayed cool, and the longer it sat, the better it tasted. I actually felt sad that I was out of it. So yeah, I got a new one, and basically, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, so this is basically going to be my my vlog, and I'm not scripting anything, so that's why I'm long-winded and going in circles and all that crap. But yeah, that's basically. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing any streaming tonight. Uh, we might, and uh, if we do. It's likely Shannon who's going to be hosting, so you'll have to check out her channel, most likely, if we do. Um, if we do, I'll put an annotation on this. Uh, but yeah, if, if we do do anything, uh, whether it be Spore or Sim Soap or anything, uh, it'll, it'll likely be Shannon's channel. If, and if it's not, because I know uh, Arachne's been starting uh, his own Sims for. He bought the, uh, the C City Living package and oh my god all that stuff looks good they have so many nice clothes that I totally thought were mods he likes to put mods on everything but yeah a lot of them I thought were mods and they weren't they were really really nice looking so I'm definitely thinking about uh well we're thinking about me and my roommate we are thinking about doing doing that getting that at some point because I mean, really those are really nice add-ons um I didn't, I didn't finish the Sugar Skull Challenge. I'm kind of sad about that. But you know what? We, ha we still have Sugar Skull items in the, in the inventory, so that's good. Uh, our whole group is basically uh, into skeletons and Sugar Skulls, so that's kind of our thing. Uh, that's actually why our Willow Whispers logo looks the way it does. We all love skeletons and skulls. Um, then we all each have our little animal that represents us. Uh, the first Willow Whispers video is still not up yet. Uh, we still we have our um, our introduction up, but we haven't yet put up the first video. We've all had our recordings though. We've all recorded them. Uh, we're just waiting for uh, Shannon's editing these ones. So 
I'm just waiting for her to finish editing. She, her uh, her editor uh, thinks I think she uses Windows Movie Maker, uh, but it's apparently being a real real jerk to her. Um, and I'm not going to go ahead and do it. I mean, I use Windows Movie Maker too for everything I do, um, but I'm not going to do it for her unless she asks. Because uh, I feel like I've kind of taken the initiative away from her a few times already, so I need to I need to back off. And my thing is, I, I like I'm so used to doing everything for myself that you know I'm so used to not being able to trust everybody to do everything. And it's not that I don't trust any. It's not that I don't trust her. It's just that habit, the force of habit. So, so yeah, hopefully, eventually, we will have the Willow Whispers video up. Um, I forget what stories we did. Um, I did the second episode of Sassy Stories on my channel last night. It was uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears and Ivan Zarovich and the Wolf. Um, the second, the latter one being what had originally started the idea for Sassy Stories, and Actually, I actually thought that it would not be any fun to read it for a third time for the recording because I had already read it twice. And this one actually ended up being my favorite, and you can thank Sarius for that one. Uh, he said something about, well, you'll have to watch it. Uh, but he started saying something, and of course, uh, that got me starting to do the, do voices, crazy voices. And so I ended up like half, half of the story ended up being in these weird-ass voices, and then I just totally went crazy. and. I was like, oh my god, it totally reminds me of when I'm listening to uh, Hugo and Jake on the Bobby Reloda when they do the chick tracks. Um, uh, I actually did put an annotation, I think, on the Sassy Stories video to the, to the, to the track that actually made me think of that. Um, when, I, when I was listening to myself, I'm like, oh god, it reminds me of this. and So I had to go and find, find the uh, link for it. So, uh, And of course, we made our obligatory fail us jokes. Um, and yeah, I'm not, I don't really, I don't really do them on purpose because I was like, oh, that's you know, that's Phyllis's thing. But I don't know, it's endearing. We we like it. It's funny, and so, so yeah, we, we tend to make a few jokes using uh, Phyllis's humor. Uh, of course, you actually see us probably doing it for a lot of like I know that we've done, we've made Markiplier references. I think we made a Jacksepticeye reference at one point. Uh, Bible Reloaded references. Uh, I was actually doing a lot more of those before we started recording, you know, uh, in the weeks before recording, so that's kind of what made me think of that. But yeah, um, nobody got it because nobody, uh, I think only like two of us actually watched the Bible Reloaded. Um, I think we did a, we do Undertale references sometimes, so let me see, we do... I haven't done, I don't think I've done any Jesse Mew or Siri ones yet because they're more more relaxed. And so yeah, basically we all kind of have our YouTubers that we like to watch. Um, so we tend to reference them a lot. So so yeah, you'll, you'll probably hear a lot of that. Um, so yeah, we, we are fans of other YouTubers, so and we do tend to make jokes based on what those YouTubers have done. Uh, so it's not so much copying for the sake of recording; it's just you know, we think they're funny, so we like to reference them. And uh, so, and I know that, you know, they're more popular than, than we are, so, you know, so it's not so much like, oh, you know, oh, I'm giving them a shout out. It's like, no, we more appreciate them giving us a shout out, but, um, you know, if it doesn't happen, you know, it doesn't happen. We just do it because, you know, we like it. So we kind of put links, if, you know, if you don't already watch them, you know, we like putting the, uh, the links so you can do that and you can enjoy the kind of things that we enjoy as well as enjoying what we do to enjoy time with each other and you. So basically from here on out, uh, I have gone on for way too long. I really am long-winded. Uh, you'll probably notice that a lot. I'm very long-winded. I'll just keep going and going and going. Uh, I do that with my writing too. I have very, very wordy writing. Whereas some people are a little bit more reserved. Um, not so bad for what I write though. But anyway, uh, I'm getting off topic here. So basically, yeah, that's what's going on right now. Uh, hopefully I will kind of follow through with doing these vlogs, uh, basically keeping track of what I'm eating, how much I'm eating, what I'm drinking, how much I'm drinking, um, how I feel that day, any, any movement or activity I do, 
you know, uh, uh, it's more for it's more for me because now I'm seeing it, everyone's seeing it, so now I feel like an obligation to kind of keep going. So I'm hoping that works out. Uh, and then, you know, if you just like kind of seeing what's going on in my life, you know, that works too. So I figured I'd probably do this instead of constantly filling up the beginning of our other videos with nonsense. Uh, so, yeah. So we'll just kind of see what happens today. Uh, might try to, might try to record, might try to edit. We might do, we might do some sort of stream. We're still, we're still trying to think about it. Uh, Sarius will not be joining us tonight if that is the case. He is in class right now, and we won't see him until after midnight our time. Uh, he's all the way in California, and me, I'm all the way in North Carolina, and so we, we got, you know, time difference. So, we'll just kind of see what happens. And like I said, if, uh, if Shannon ends up doing the stream tonight, I will put a link in this video to her stream. Uh, if it's Arachne, I'll, I'll do a video... I'll, I'll do annotation for his video on his stream. And we'll just kind of see what happens. So hopefully this is a start of something that actually will do okay. Hoping I can get to be get better and feel better. Uh, we'll see what kind of happens from there. And hoping for a really uh, productive night. So I will see you probably tomorrow to continue the continue tracking my progress. <laughs>